Okay, in this very short lesson for new Blender users, we're just going to take a look at keyframe animation on objects real quick. So, sometimes you have just a single object in the scene like that. If you want to do, say, a quick animation on this, maybe down here at this, I'll press I and do location. Up here at 250, I'll move it a little bit. Press I, location. Then when I come down here and start it up all day, it moves it along like that. Okay, but sometimes you want to move a bunch of objects together at the same time. It, I'll just put another object in the scene up here, maybe a little cube like that and give it a color and instead of doing them all at the same time there's a couple ways you could do it. Either one is you could either join them you could just shift select and join them like that. Let's see sometimes that if that was the last one yeah they're they're working but let me control Z that just for a second. Control Z Z Alright, so now there's separate objects. Now I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to select the green cube last, Control J, join, like that. Then I'm going to press Alt A. And you notice there's no animation. Alright, I wonder if you caught that. Okay, so basically all I did was, in the first case, I selected this one, and then I selected this one. This being the second one I selected that has the keyframe animation, that then when I join it together, and then press Alt A to start the animation then they move. So the order in which you select these when you join them together makes a difference. The first case picks up the animation, the other case it doesn't because that one did not have an animation with it. Alright, so let's, I'm going to get the graph editor. I'll just get rid of this animation anyway. Just to show you one more thing. I can press A, A twice, make sure everything's selected, X, delete the keyframes. That way I'm done with those. And the other way I sometimes do it is you have an object in the scene and you want to rotate them around a particular location. So it's easier sometimes you just come over here and add an empty or some other kind of object into the scene like that and then you basically can rotate the you can parent these to I could parent I could, I could grab this whoops this well now they're joined so well since they're all one object that's fine I'll just parent it to that object like that and then what I would do is Control P, parent to the object, and then I would do my animation on this guy. So, I location, and then up here, yikes, I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? There's that one, and I location, and I location, like that. And so there I'm moving them like that. And that becomes really important if you're dealing not so much for a single object like that, but if you have grouped objects, then you'll need to use groups parented to uh, an object like this in order to make it work. Because you can't animate a group of objects by itself. Even though it'll look like it takes it, it won't actually animate. So just parent it to some other object. All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.